Hello everybody, welcome back to more... No! Vaudrift! Uh, we're gonna be doing... There's no joke there, that's just... <laughs> that's just my intro, that's not a joke, it's just... It makes no sense, don't worry about it! Enemy territory <laughs> for the extra 50... Is it really like... Why do we get a 25% score bonus? Just like... Right out the bat. What, what is with that? I don't know. I've been in, enjoying going to enemy territory. I think that it it does indeed speed up the beginning part just a little bit. I don't know how much harder it makes things, you know? It just just basically chops down the run a little bit, I think, is all it does uh, into a a better pace. Railgun? Do we railgun? I feel like we haven't railgunned in a, just a an itty bit. And I feel like when I do railgun... I don't always railgun, but when I do, I make an out-of-date reference. Um, I think that it just... I think it's good, and I think we just haven't used it to its fullest potential in any way. I don't think we've used anything to its fullest potential, to be honest. Uh, pushes enemies away, projectiles. I think the shockwave actually could be a pretty good one for this, since we want enemies to be pretty far away. Like, it's a, it's a shield that I've definitely... I've definitely enjoyed, I've definitely liked in the past, but... Oh. Yeah! <laughs> but I'm not, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think I've used it fully. Plus three projectiles for projectile weapons, plus 15% weapon damage and projectile size. What's the... Wait, what's the penalty here? Minus 50% projectile spread. They're divided between the broadside cannons... Minus rate of fire. Okay, well, also, what's this? Constructs you deploy have improved damage, rate of fire, assembly speed. They have a max hull. You can only deploy one construct at a time. <laughs> what? Okay. We could focus on architect and make little sniper bots? Or we could pick this and probably... Okay, I see the downside. I see the downside indeed, but oh! Is it really though? Because we could also just do something like this. We could just... Yeah, I think it's gonna be a problem. I think we're gonna wanna switch out the sniper beam. But I'm like, you know what? This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like this. I'm gonna wanna switch some things up for sure. Like, I don't think that the, uh, the sniper is really the way to go with it, but I'm enjoying it. I think it'll be cool when we inevitably fix it, hopefully in the next up, uh, upgrade. Whoop. For now, it is just super goofy to, to aim. I'm glad it does give us the little uh, weird side cannons, though, but... <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we need to switch it. Oh, why did you have to do that one, though? Oh, man, blast radius. You know what? Maybe we just... Um... If we reroll, does it... Okay, it does. Split shot. Salvo, sure. All right, so with Salvo... We got a reduced fire rate, flat rate of fire delay, I mean, velocity, we don't really want velocity, we want homing, can we get that? Sure. Interesting. I don't want to just like only do salvo, but it just really seemed like such a logical choice there. Split shot I feel like would have been alright as well. Ooh! Ooh, I like it! Ooh, I like it. So those things that increase the power of your uh, your ship, I really wonder how that would interact with this. Ally Specialist. Ally Max Hull. I mean, we could... We could do something like that. Plus two Ally Projectiles. Ally Assembly Speed. Assembly Speed down for other constructs. Sure. Let's get that. We'll uh, we'll get a little bit of ally action. If we're close enough, can it? No. I was going to say, if we're close enough, can it home on in? It do not. It do not do that. Oh, my God. 
I truly feel like a mothership. Whoop. It is. This is great. All right. We're going to obviously need to get the ally upgrade if we're going to want to make use of what we got there. Uh, minus velocity and a little bit of rate of fire. I mean, I think that... I mean, let's just do it, right? Okay, that is definitely some improved homing. We don't really want to get velocity, I have been informed, because it does indeed impact the homing, kind of like in, you know, in Gungeon, if you have really, really fast bullets, it's super tough for them to actually home into stuff. Okay. Whoop. I do know we have a level up. Well aware. All right. Take a hull hit, exceeding 10% of your max hull. You automatically fire an empowered attack. Attack with smaller weapon projectiles from each of your broadsides. Homie strike. Have a greatly improved projectile target. You don't degenerate as quickly. You know, I'll admit I'm curious. Where are my broadsides? Uh, okay, so it, it, it actually... <laughs> they poke out from a little bit behind. I promise after this run, we probably will uh, we'll be skipping Salvo for a little bit because I do know that it has become uh, one that we've been taking more than others. I'll try to, to shake it up by getting ourselves an ally that will uh, we'll make things interesting, hopefully. He's a beefy boy. My beefy son. My beefy son. Okay, so we need to we need to get that maxed out before anything. Whoop! I mean, this is really good. You can't deny that, right? Like the fact that we got them to have uh, super homing. I mean, they might as well not be shooting that from our sides. Oh my god! Stand in middle. Thing die. Get him, buddy. Are you absorbing me? <laughs> oh my god! Okay... Construct max hull, assembly speed, construction per... Phantom strike the target so live after you deal hull crash damage. No... Fine. We'll We'll get that there. I don't think we need both of them to get the uh, the end of the... Oh. oh. Oh, you fool. I have a gift for you. I have a gift for you. Did not go quite as silly strong as I thought it would, but... Tell you what, as soon as this beam is over, we are... We are getting in there and we are doing the same thing. Because it's going to kill you, in it? In it. It is indeed. Where is it? Ally construct becomes stronger as you do. Let's do it. Guardian, transforming your ally construct into a guardian, the ability to recover. Wait, what's this? Your guardian gains the ability to recover the hull of other types of damage advanced constructs. Um, probably not. Gain large blast radius. Grunge projectiles no longer degenerate. I mean, that stuff seems good. Your guardian confuses nearby enemies, so it gives him like a taunt. But this is just one of the types of uh, additional. Okay, sure. It's just one of the additional types of allies. I want to kind of go for the one of the ones that will copy all my projectiles because I want to see how that goes. I want to see how that goes. Swarm. Super homing. I mean, it's it is. Very, very homing. And we're, it's doing big damage. It's doing big damage. A huge fan. All right. Turret. All right. Well, let's focus on a little bit of a... Let's focus on ourself. Shield damage resistance causing you to discharge a bolt. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Nope. Get a little bit. Of, let's get our shield radius up, sure. So we can reflect things from further away. 
Look at our little rainbow looking son of a ship. Is this the only option we're gonna get? No, right? Okay, well if he dies, at least he'll come back quicker. I guess that's all that really does for us, huh? Wow. This is, uh, this is silly. Salvo is very, very good. Whoop. It's very, very good. It's proving to be probably one of the strongest weapons that I think I've found. With, with the, with minimal tweaking, you know? Like, other things I've been able to make really, really good after a little bit of effort. This does not take that much effort. Also, I think it does seem to be really extra good with this ship in specific. What is this? Adaptive armor. When you take damage, gain armor stacks. Armor stacks provide a 1% damage resistance with a slight diminishing return. Hard hits grant multiple armor stacks. Decay after two seconds. Uh, improve regeneration. Improve your shield effect power. Plus 20% stack duration. Armor stacks attack. Wait. Armor stacks attack enemies when you fire. Exploding on impact. So it's like a, a return fire. Deal additional blast damage for each other. Armor stack. Plus 110% armor tank duration. Stack duration. Okay, th there's some interesting ways where you could definitely utilize that. You could probably utilize that really, really well on a... Um, even on a like one of those ones where you can't fire. When you get Overseer or something. There we go. There we go. How do you salvo, my friend? Show me your salvo. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Not quite as good as mine, but hey, you know what? It's a start. Is it... Does it fire... Are they as homing as mine? I think they're literally my shots. Greatly improves the passive dodge ability. Oh, we could... Wait. Huh. 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 We could put him on our front so we actually do get a firing shot in the front. That's an interesting idea. That's an interesting idea indeed. I kind of like the idea of having him where he is though, but... Boy, that that's tempting. That's actually really tempting. Gain the ability to fire normal style. Okay. Does this mode give us like super damage or something boost all right I want in I want in improve regeneration and shield cooldown when you're not firing that seems really good for salvo Okay. Well, we're not going to be playing Salvo, I'll tell you that much. Uh, that just keeps happening on that guy. I, I Everybody keeps telling me to go inside the uh, the radial, like, go inside the, the spinning orbs. It's really, uh, it's really, really strong. Like, you get to do so much damage. It's like, yeah, but if you get hit on the way out, you get, like, absolutely ruined, man. Oh, that went behind us. Okay. Absolutely ruined. Oh, boy. Do we get warp? Bastion? Temporal? Sure. Yep. We were able to dodge it because of the uh, the shield we just got, so that's nice. Hmm. Okay. Well, your shield is down. Let's see. Construct limit. Four plus one for every two of your levels. I. I'm curious. Can we do? 
I was told that like this was a really good combo to do, and I'm guess I'm not exactly sure why. We'll find out. Recursive mods begin gain additional time, but re reduces your max hull and shields for each wild mod you have. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Cannot exceed your construct limit. Equal to your projectile count. Hmm. Assembly time modified by rate of fire. I'm not really concerned about the assembly time right now. Is it's it's a standard construct. Is there anything that Nope. Construct maximum hull, assembly speed, assembly speed per level. When your constructs are destroyed, release damaging shockwave. I mean, the shields for construct was a very interesting build. I really liked that, I will say. Causes there to be a chance for you to spawn one or more swarm construct when an enemy is killed. The greater the maximum of the enemy killed, the greater chance for one or multiple. You know what? Let's do it. Just an itty bitty army. Just a little itty bitty army. How do we upgrade them? They're they're constructs, so there's got to be something, right? Well, I mean, we can advanced constructs. Overclock ramps up. Well, you're near an advanced construct. Faster construct. Not even okay. Not even just advance. 25% construct rate of fire. Minus X percent hull and shields. Equal to two times your combined standard and advanced construct limits. Weird. I'll get an ally for now. I, let's, we'll go full support. We'll go full, well, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go with that rate of fire yet or not. But we'll get these little buddies. I got all the little buddies for now. Oh boy. Hello, friend. I, th I don't know. The boomerang, I'm like, I'm neutral on it for now. Oh, we lost it, and it's back. Ah, okay. Does it, like, stay on the enemy until... I don't know, man. See, that was really good. How do we guarantee that happens? Just by getting it caught behind him every time? Or does it... Is that just what it does? I'm feeling like that's not just what it does. I feel like we'd know. Alright. Thrust. Maybe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, so the ones that we just naturally spawn take take that damage per second too? That seems maybe bad, like really bad, but I could be wrong. I, we might be able to find a way to fix that. Also, maybe it counts as self-damage. You know, like, I, I doubt it, but, you know, maybe? It's using the self-damage color. But I think, yeah, I think it's like kind of a dis-synergy more than anything right now due to the fact that they get that hull damage per second reduction. Kind of? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Construct maximum hull and assembly speed. Assembly speed to level. Oh, but with the self-destruction. Oh, that's a now that's a build idea. That right there is a build idea. I don't know if it's good. Also, increasing the max hull will just make them actually, you know, live a little bit longer. Okay. Shot through the wall. Whoop. All right. So, can we upgrade the uh, actual shots as well? Ooh, wait. 
your ally construct regenerate hull over time. So you're saying this is not no, your ally. Your ally. Specifically ally. Guardian and interceptor. Just put down my turret that I will not remember to use. Maybe. Final final reroll. There it is. Self-destruct. I think that, that I think that could be really fun. I want to see him go boom. Ooh. We don't even have to play the game at a certain point here. Maybe we go overseer today. If there was ever a time to go overseer, I think this would be it. All right? Like we 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 get this kind of an idea and build around it. I don't know if I care about them. Well, Do we want that? For every construct your shield pro protects, shield effect power is, and shield radius are slightly decreased. Standard and advanced constructs. Does... I mean, are swarm constructs standard? Oh boy. Oh boy. It seems like a very bad idea. We get we we get this whether or not Don't we already have overseer? Do we need both? Whatever. Let's do it. Ah, it does protect them. Or it protects some of them. So I think we go for a different shield type. Because we have the one where it like is pushing them away, don't we? Or no, we have the slow down. Actually, that's not... That's not bad. Yikes. Searing a hot ring burns targets within the effect radius. You take shield self damage. Well, it burns. Let's do it. Let's try it. So now they're going to go chase down enemies and burn them to burn away the shield. But also, so will the boomerang. That's pretty cool. All right. I mean, this is. Is this good? I, 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 I don't know, but I really like it. Definitely put out some drones. Because they'll defend us kind of like uh like our shields. Look at this whole big old mess of circles. Oh, what? Meow. All right. I mean, it's pretty cool. Shield's finally dead. I really should not be where I'm at. Oop. I want that. Boy, this is Danger Town. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess I don't get that. That hurts. Meow. Probably should be going the other direction. There we go. Got one. And we got two. Good. All right. We're in there. Mines. Let's your ally dodge enemy attacks. Uh, proves blast radius. Does this scale off of blast radius? Wait. Uh, this... No, it's proportional to the max hull of the destroyed construct. Gotcha. So it's not going to be doing that much.
Mm. Oh, look at that! I didn't even notice. And they're all gonna go away. They're all going to die. Yep, right at the same time. There's got to be a way to fix that, right? Non-weapon construct limits are doubled. Minus the assembly speed. Total thrust down. Two times your combined standard. And advanced construct limits. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to die. Okay. Okay. So everybody that told me that I do not lose my boomerang is incorrect. But I can I can drop mines. All right, that's how I fire. That's how I win. Get him, gang. You guys better be good. You're all I have. It's kind of fun in its own way. Like, the fact that we do get a put down the mines at the very least is makes it a little bit a little bit better and we I guess if we really want we could uh we could run right into these fools drop the mines down what are they would they f they would probably fire my boomerang wouldn't they all right this is pretty sick this is pretty good all right Hello. Goodbye. All right, what do we want? Make drones fire rockets instead of bullets. Sure, probably. When you take a shield hit, you discharge a bolt of energy in the direction of the offender dealing burn damage. 1% shield damage resistance, 2% shield effect power. Can't be triggered by self damage. You know what? Sure. Oh my god, no! Okay. Shield, come back. Thank you. Cannot be affected by shield self damage, but if anybody attacks any of my pals, they get bodied. I'm just like a whirling death blade here. Get him, boys! Get him, boys! Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir, you have made a horrible mistake entering my domain! We gotta be careful with our hull. Like, if we can get max hull upgrade, oh, that would be a good idea. I think thrust would be a good idea as well. I think all of that is very important for me at the moment. Because my hull is... ungood. <laughs> Get him, gang! Okay. Alright. Here it is. Poop the bombs on him. what it's all been for oh my god it hard counters what is that radius this guy's an absolute punk and he's dead all right hard countered oh no oh no reinforced drones drones have a maximum hull increase i mean that does sound good improved regeneration rate yeah right that sounds like it is incredibly useful for us. Come on! No! Oh! Uh-oh. Yo! Oh. No! My boys! This guy always has, like, such a weirdly high amount of uh, HP. I want to poop bombs on him. Well, run into those someday, mister. Okay, well, somebody else will. Somebody else will run into those. Fire your weapon in a radial spread. Juggernaut, I don't know about that. When you're not firing, plus 20% regeneration. I'm never, that's my secret cap. I'm never firing. Uh. Humana? 
Unless I'm always... I'm either, either never firing or always firing. I'm not quite so sure. I would assume I'm never firing. Turret? Maybe. Probably. Right? Yeah. We have a turret. We do. Get down and fight. Boy, oh my god. I do not like where I'm at. I blend in too much with them. Oh my god. Those mines. I don't know if they saved me, but I planted them down like a ferocious monster. This is a pretty sick build. I love that it's an option. I and it's way more fun than doing like a um, a pet run in like oh my god in like Gungeon or something because you actually totally can play the game. Uh, incoming damage to be divided evenly between your hull and your shields. If enough is of each is available. You can be damaged to be divided evenly between your hull and your shields. Sounds like maybe a good idea to keep ourselves alive. It really will just... Wait. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Sounds like a bad idea. Or, or wait, or no! No! In practice, it's working really, really well. Shockingly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Alright, gang. Come on, gang. You need to start pulling your weight a little bit more. Says the man who's not using his, uh, his mines all the time. The whole damage we're taking is um, minimal. It's really not even an issue. You can probably place two turrets at once, but the amount of time they take to show up is pretty uh, rough. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, turrets to scale their hull with your level heal you when they're nearby and provide. Improve their shield effects. That's pretty good. All right. We'll get that. I feel like that gives us a little bit more hands-on gameplay. So that sounds good to me. Oh, mama. Have a turret. Boop, 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 boop. Drive by mining. I yeah, I think we should probably get some thrust boost at some point here. All right, shields back on. Ooh. Yes. Snipe, sniped with mines. Okay, okay. Kind of want to just stockpile my turrets for a situation where we're gonna actually want them. Bloop. I want him. All right, I placed him. War machine turrets fire missiles and scale the rate of fire and rotation speed with your level. Uh, yeah, that sounds really good. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Nope. Oh, look at him. He's he's chonking. Okay, put a couple mines behind me. Oh, he's he is very good. All right, we got two of them out now. Here, let's drop some mines on his face. Oh, oh, you uh, you made a grave mistake entering my little uh, my little nest. I am the Swarm King. You've entered my domain. You perish. I don't make the rules. Oh, I make... Oh, my God. You perish. What did I say? Hull damage resistance to you when an advanced construct is nearby. I mean, that sounds really good. Mines fire your weapon in a radial spread on detonation. I I'll be honest. I have to see this. They should... They should fire my... Uh 
my big old construct, shouldn't they? Oh my god. I hate when the enemies are the same color as me. I run out. Uh, I, I, oh my god. I lose track of everything so fast when that's the case. Okay, put down double turrets. Deploys mines when you take heavy hull damage. 10% of your max hull. You deploy a mine. Uh, let's see. Retribution has a 0.5 second cooldown. Does it unlock another tree? No. It seems like fine. I mean, it seems good probably, but... Your body gear base stats are improved by 10%. Your body gear unique powers. Whatever that means with this, I don't know. Plating, maybe. Sure. Some resistance to the old hull. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, so yeah, it does it does shoot out the constructs. That's pretty good. Where am I? I'm over here. Bup, bup, bup. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I, I kind of figured it would... I mean, like, what else would it do, I guess, but... Okay. Drop this in the middle. We are getting a little overwhelmed at this moment in time. Oh, boy. <laughs> what? The hell, man. Turn it down. Poot. Alright. Drop, drop. How do we get more construction rate? Increase your drone construct limit, drone max hull, and damage per level. Special mods for specialized drones. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get let's upgrade the little circuit circling boys. Our little circling boys. Oop. Ungood. Drop a bomb on his face. Drop a bomb on their face. Oop. Okay. <laughs> There's the turret. Oh my god. It's amazing. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. It's chaos. It's chaos. What is? What is this? I ain't never seen that thing before. They unlock a new type of enemy or something? I've never seen that before. It's a real piece of work, is what it is. Oh! Turret bullets collide with enemy projectiles, generating their damage in size or destroying them outright. Turret max hull rate of fire, rotation speed, and damage. Sure. Um. Um, about this! Whoop! Okay, come on, turrets. I'm counting on you. Count on you, especially turrets! Ooh, I hate Bomb Boy. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Drop bomb. Try to drop bomb. This place about to blow. Good. Turn him into children. <laughs> Turn him into children. Converts uh, either your max hull or max shields, whichever's lower, to the other. What? Wait. What? Wait. If your max hull is greater than your max shields, max hull to your max shields. Okay, I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what it is right now. Can we press escape? We can. I don't want to do that. Regression. Banish all tier 1 mods currently offered to you. Minus 4 size and friction. Why is this blinking? Oh. Size and friction for all mod. Tier 1 mod is a mod within a mod tree which has no predecessor. Uh, I don't know if we... 
Oh, this is the only... I see, that's why it's blinking. That's the only one. Uh, I mean, that would be fine, but... At the same point, like, I don't really care about that. Let's... Let's go with the more of this, right? Where am I? Actually, where am I? Okay. I never found a way to restore them. I think that... I think that that was offered to me earlier, and at that point, I was not, like, all in on this build. Oh, my God. We are spawning many children. Spawning many a children. Boop, 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 boop. I gotta say how relieved I am for this build uh, to be more fun than a pet-only run in Gun Gun. Because I know a lot of people have requested I do this build, and I, I'll admit in the back of my head, I'm like, eh, that's probably going to be like the, yeah, but you only can use Casey, or, or no, uh, you can only use Junkin, and everything like that, like, kind of, eh. When you're near advanced construct, you and that, no. Causes your ally construct to regenerate health over time, I mean, yeah, probably. We should probably get this. I mean, maybe we can get the Guardian thing now. But doesn't the Guardian mo protect me more than it protects... I don't know. If there's just some way for these little drones to never... To not just slowly hemorrhage HP, I think it'd be a good idea. Drop the turret. Wave un hundo. I have nothing but time to dodge, my friend. Oop. And yet. And yet. Boop, boop, boop. Whee! Here comes the- Yep! Light speed mode. Which is going to be problematic for us compared to the other phase for sure. Oh, nice. Oh, less than nice. Less than nice. The snipers around the edges are... Oh my god, you got me good. I'm bad. I'm bad, I'm bad. Yeah. Yeah. This is not what I needed right now. This dodge is... This is gonna be problematic. Okay. Oh, here we go. Poop the bombs. Oh, why would you do this to me? What is that? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? You gain armor stacks, we take damage. That sounds really nice right now. Defense drones, assault drones. I just want... I'm going to pick this up right now because, honestly, I think that there's a non-zero chance we just, like, die if we don't pick that up at some point here. All right, that turret's about to get blasted. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's nice to see that we are indeed scaling. Boy, are we. Okay. Get him, gang. Get him, gang! <laughs> this is silly. This is... This has been and will be and remains to be silly as hell. Don't have a level, huh? Dup, up, up. I'm so glad our first run tanked. Here's the thing. Armor stacks attack enemies when you fire. Cool, but like I maybe if I press the fire button it will, but armor stacks deal additional blasts for each other armor stack. But here's the thing. Plus 110% armor stack duration. Yeah? In theory, that seems good. Seems like it should make it so if we start to take uh, some pretty heavy fire over the course of time, all is well in the world. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 
In theory, since we never fire, that's just a benefit of 110% shield duration, I think. Okay, I see the... Sh okay, so I can fire the shield stacks. That's another thing, too. That's actually pretty nice. I can press... Just right-click right there. You see that one flying over there? Gives me something else to do if I want. Uh-oh. Oh, but look at all the hole! I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll dig. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Uh-oh. 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 Good dodge. Careful. 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 Put down the turrets. Put down everything. I was just... I was busy focusing on learning about the armor stacks. No. Oh. oh, my God. Look at all these armor stacks we have. At least for a little bit. They... It must be giving us, like, something to do with our... Oh. Where am I? Our allies taking damage, too, or something? I don't know. Our thrust is getting, um... Pretty, pretty bad as we level up more and more. <laughs> this does not lock, unlock another thing. Plus 25% self-damage resistance, whatever, cool. Uh, five base hull, five base shields, base hull, base shields. What does that mean? Five. I, I'm assuming it just. Oh, well, whatever. We also get so elf damage. Unleash them! Unleash the beasts! Fear the beasts! I hate this situation bop, 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 bop. I want to save my turrets for a scarier spot though fine I'll drop one unlocks counter artillery we already have that Maximum hull per level, per your level. Turret is nearby. You recover three hull and shields. 30% shield effect power. Shield effect raise for shields protecting a turret. Sure. So if we're in this zone, we get, like, extra heal. Wait, did it said sh it said shield, too? Turret max hull. You cover three hull and shields per second. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like that could end up just being more danger than anything. Just lo trying to lock myself into this spot, but regenerating those shields is... It's not bad. If we have to be somewhere, we might as well be here, kind of. Uh-oh. Yep. You can, like, stand straight up on the turret, too. Oh, man, this is goofy. Can't put down another turret, though. Planting bombs in a circle. What do you got here? Tactical link. While you are near an advanced construct, you and that construct gain 8% hull damage resistance. Sure. Passive shield regeneration and reduces hull regeneration while shields are out. Now that seems like a terrible idea for us. What's this though? That could that could be good if we could get that without the other. What's the other? Uh... Ah, no. No, I like the fact that we have the shield. As much as it is like a I'm not going to say it's a bad idea or anything, but I'd rather not. I'd I'd rather not. All right. Just want to drop the turret right on myself. I'm fine. Oh, God. Unleash the beast. I like that it does give us a, yeah, an active thing to do, but only if, yeah, only if we get hit. Oop. I swear if these drones take direct damage, we get um, charges as well or something. I don't know. Whoop. Wow. 
Big wow, big wow. Unleash. Okay, we got a boss coming. Don't touch me. Okay, all right, 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 all right. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What? I was watching out for the other one. Honestly, why would I be upset? We got an extra reroll unlocked per game. Shield gear unlocked. Orbital shield. Ladies and gentlemen, a shield orbited by energy orbs whose charge increases when you or your shield takes damage. All right. Uh, that was, I mean, quintessential overseer, right? And that was our number two. Our first, wow. Boy, that first run is, was indeed a slapper. Holy moly. But Overseer was, honestly, that was a blast. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Excited to check that out more in the future. But that's going to do it for today. Greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point. If you enjoyed it, make sure you, you like it. That is a quick way where you can actually have a little bit of autonomy over what happens on this website. <laughs> you can help me out very directly by doing so. But alas, alas, that is going to do it for today. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for always more every single day. Do a subscribe. I'm really, really close to 100,000 subs. If you want to help me get there, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.